My name is Adeline Emter and I use she, they pronouns. I'm currently a general experimental psychology student here at the University of North Dakota. I want to talk a little bit briefly about the differences between gender identity and sexual orientation, giving you kind of a background of some of this terminology that you might not be familiar with if you don't know a whole lot about the LGBTQ plus community yet. So first and foremost, gender identity and sexual orientation are two entirely different things, although they're often grouped together in this LGBTQ plus acronym. Gender comes from a social or cultural expectation based on biological sex. However, it's important that we start to view gender as something that's not a binary concept. It's not just men and women. There are a lot of people who exist outside that binary, and it's important for us to acknowledge that those differentiations don't come from any sort of substantial concept other than these social and cultural structures that have existed for many years. Gender identity in itself is your personal feeling of self-concept, so the way that you feel most comfortable identifying in and of yourself. That often correlates, though, with your gender expression, which relates to femininity and masculine representations through um, hair, clothing, voice, etc. But a lot of people will also present relatively androgynously, avoiding those masculine or feminine concepts. And regardless of your gender expression, uh, it's entirely valid. Moving towards sexual orientation, sexual orientation has to do with your attraction to other people, whether it be sexual, emotional, or just relational in general. There are a lot of different sexual identities as well, and they often correlate to the gender identities that you are attracted to, um, or the types of ways that you experience that type of attraction. Um, I'd encourage you to look up some uh, examples of both sexual orientations and gender identities to educate yourself about what different types of identities are out there, because there's so, so many that I can cover in this short little video. I would like to remind you as well that it's okay to change the ways that you identify over time. Gender and sexual orientation are often influenced very deeply by our experiences. And so over time, the ways that you feel most comfortable identifying might change or shift as time goes on. And whatever words you choose to use to self-identify your gender or orientation are entirely valid. 